folding laundry. There's another load in the washer and another load in the dryer, so lots more work to do. Um, so, so things we can control how we how we treat people, um, which brings me to the topic of bullying, because our president has really brought that to the forefront, right? It's been his platform. He has been. He has, he has shown us through his actions and through his words that he likes to get things done by force. Um, and so being, being a liberal, being a progressive, it's hard for me to reconcile this idea that, that it's okay to bully the bully. Right? And I have a lot of friends who are in the same boat as me who are saying things like, well, I'm no better than them if I'm calling them bullies, if I'm calling them names. But I thought a lot about this, and, I, and, and what I really think is that, and I've said this before, there's a time and a place. Sometimes a bully needs to be punched in the face, right? If your kid... If any kid was on the playground and somebody came up to them and just started shoving them for no reason and you came over to try to stop it and you were saying, hey, what's going on? You know, trying to stop it with your words without using force and the bully kept at it and kept at it and kept at it. Um, there might be a time where you just need to grab that bully by the arm and drag him out of the situation. I feel like that's where we're at right now. Um, calling random people bullies, calling, calling random people names, people that you don't know. But if you are confronted with somebody who like we saw in that Starbucks video today, somebody who says, I voted for Trump. I deserve special privileges. That guy's being a bully, and he needs to be put in his place, and he needs to be told, back the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Here's what's going to happen. So, are we being bullies by calling people racist? People that we don't know? Um, I mean, it's probably not the best course of action. It's probably not, not the best strategy to get people's attention. But are we wrong? No. We're not wrong. And I think we need to stop hiding behind, and I hate saying this, but the political correctness of not hurting each other's feelings. Let's make them uncomfortable. I don't agree with your choice with your vote for president if you voted for Donald Trump. I don't agree with it because it's made our country less safe. It's made citizens, American citizens, scared, sad, angry, depressed. Um, people have actually committed suicide. And so we're, oh, and we're talking about a registry for Muslims, we're talking about banning a whole religion from entering this country. We're talking about um, building a wall that, I mean, come on, look at history, right? How many walls have been built in history? A lot of walls have been built in history. And for what? Like, have they been beneficial? Ultimately, is that the answer? Look at history. Look at history. Um, so are we being bullies? Yeah, maybe. Is that something I'm okay with? Absolutely. Because sometimes you got to punch the bully in the face. I'm outraged. I'm I'm just I'm appalled at the, the the current climate in our in our country. 
and it's not about politics, it's about human rights and human decency, and is there room at my table for, a, for someone who voted for Trump? Absolutely. But if you start spouting racist, hateful, misogynistic, homophobic, and just, just overall indecent language, you're not welcome. If you are going to start um, playing the victim, especially if you're a white guy or even a white woman, like you're not the victim. You're not the victim. I'm not a victim. I didn't make a selfish vote. I voted because of other people. Because, not, not specifically because of minorities, but because I see our country as a We're diverse. We just are. We're diverse. Um, if you're going to start spouting misinformation and quoting fake news sites and totally, totally ignoring the fact or dismissing the fact that it's incorrect, it's lies, if you take it as truth, I'm sorry, but that's not, that's not going to fly at my table. I just, I'm just amazed at the amount of ignorance. We can't all know everything, but we can absolutely do our best to try to find accurate information, to try to find, is this true? Remember that old saying, it's, if it's too good to be true, it probably is? Well, that goes for the news too, or news. You know, there's so much out there on the internet and we have to be really vigilant about filtering through it and finding the stuff that's actually news. And whether or not you believe it's from a liberal agenda, ma mainstream media or whatever, it's still more real than a vast majority of the stuff that was shared over this election series, this election season. Um, we're getting really a lot stupider, a lot more ignorant on purpose. We're refusing to seek reality, and it's really scary. And I, for one, refuse to let that take over. I'm going to keep reminding myself what's real, including waking up every morning to Donald Trump being the president-elect of the United States in 2016. Um, and I hope you do too. I hope you, you continue to look for what's real and not believe everything you see or everything you read. Um, my laundry's done for now. There's, there's still a load in the dryer, but it's, it's got a while.